Hello and thank you for joining me tonight. Tonight is Saturday Night Crafting, but I happen to be in Canada visiting my family, so I thought I'd give you a quick little update and a share of how that went. We couldn't have had a smoother journey. It was amazing. It was such an answer to prayer. We got our car a day early and they gave us a free upgrade, so we got a massive car, which means we can fit mom, the kids, her wheelchair, we can all fit in the car and it's just unbelievably perfect. So we went and saw my mom at her care home and she's doing really well. She's been able to walk a bit on her own, which is really nice. And the kids absolutely loved seeing Granny, who they haven't seen in over three years, nearly four, I think. Um, and we did some walks. We went to um, Jurassic Forest, which was really good fun. So they have lots of dinosaurs that move about when you walk through, which was cool. The kids loved it. I loved it. I love dinosaurs. Uh, and then we did some walks. We went to Elk Island Park. So if any of you are from Alberta, you will be familiar with Elk Island Park. We saw some deer with some baby deer. We saw some bison. Uh, it was such good fun. And we've got loads more coming up and I will share with you while I'm here. So tonight is about using your scraps. I've got this huge pile of colored scraps that were actually from a few paper pads and I just kept them all together. So I'd made a bunch of cards. I had a whole bunch of different sized scraps and I just keep them all in one pile and I thought this would be perfect for my craft tonight. So if you've even got decorative paper, this should work. And I'm doing my trick again where I've gone on Google and I just pull up colors that work together. Uh, I just kind of do a Google search and try and find something that shows me a bunch of colors that I like the look of. And then I go through my scraps and try and match up those colors. Now I did like this purple, pink, and gray combo, but in the end I decided to go for pinks um, and some greens because I decided to do some flowers instead of what I was originally thinking. So here I'm just kind of showing you what I do. I print out a little sheet of, uh, I keep these sheets on my desk by the way, I don't just chuck them. I print out little sheets of colors that I like and I keep them on my desk ready to go and then I find the colors that match as close as possible from my little stash of scraps and then I'm ready to rock and roll. Now today's project, I'm going to share with you how you can make a really fun, quick and easy card with no dyes, no supplies other than your scissors and some glue. But I'm also going to show you the more clean cut version because I know a lot of people don't like wonky and a lot of people <laughs> don't like imperfection. And the first project is going to be all about the imperfection and wonky. But I will show you the version that you can do if you want a more clean cut version using up your scraps. So I've got some pinks and purples and some greens and I've got some craft cardstock. So what I wanna do first is make myself a little frame. So I'm gonna do a nice little floral kind of card front and I want a frame to go around those flowers to kind of, I don't know, add a, a little bit of character to that front of that card. Now I'm going for full on wonky. If you've watched me before, you know that I can't do anything even remotely perfect. I can't cut a circle, draw a circle to save my life. Just can't do it. So if you're gonna go wonky, go all wonky. And at first I wasn't sure about my frame. I didn't quite like it. I thought this is a bit too wonky. It looks a bit too much like my, you know, child has made it. <laughs> but in the end, actually, when I compared it to the more clean cut version, I quite liked the little wonky frame. So all I'm doing is cutting myself a frame here. So I want it to be slightly smaller than my A5 card base, which is just an A4 sheet of paper folded in half or cardstock, I should say. So there's my little frame and it looks hideous. But once we add our wonky flowers, it's okay. It's not horrible. So I'm taking my scraps and I'm gonna cut myself some wonky circles. I am not trying to be perfect because I can't be perfect. I don't know how to do that. So I am just going for some fun, wonky, slightly off circles. I don't want any jagged edges, but I'm just trying to do a circle. This is the best as I can get. To be honest, this is me trying for perfection and it's nowhere near right. <laughs> so it's nice and easy. You can do this with kids actually. It'd be a great project with kids. Sit down with your scraps, start doing some of these kind of cards. Um, or if you've got people with dexter dex dexterity issues, um, maybe some seniors in your life um, who want to create but struggle, this could be a great craft for them as well. So I've got all my wonky circles ready to go, my little flowers, and now I'm gonna cut myself some little strips. And these are actually the most perfect I can get. So <laughs> they're nice, sort of beautifully curved lines in my opinion. And I've got those ready to be the stems. I'm cutting them much longer than I need so that I can tuck them into my frame and work out how long I want them to be. So it's just a nice laid back crafting session which is great for being able to use up those scraps in your collection and if you're on holiday like me 
this is a great way to do some crafting where you can take minimal supplies. Now I did film this before I left, but it is something you can do on holiday. Now I'm going to take my white um, acrylic pen and I'm just going to draw some wonky lines around the outsides of my circles. This just adds a bit more character, makes them pop out a little bit more, just gives them a bit more oomph. And you can see the difference between the circles before and after the white is added is quite significant. I quite like the look of adding some white on. I do the same on the leaves that I cut out and then the same on the stems. I just kind of draw like a wonky line down the side of the stem on each of them and then that's kind of all I do with that white pen. Now I want to pop up my frame but I don't want my frame to be popped up with a full solid line of foam because I want to tuck my stems in and under so I want some gaps in between that foam so I've got some room to work with and I can kind of like stick and wiggle those little stems in and kind of adjust them to the size I want them to be. So I'll just do my placement first and figure out where I want everything to go. Again, this is a craft that is so nice and quick and easy. It won't take you very long, but even if you choose to use dies, like I'll show you in a second, again, it's something that's quick and easy as well. So once I've got those stems where I want them to be, I make a little like notch in them with my scissors, pull it out, and then cut it fully. Then I can go ahead and stick my stems down. I'm just going to glue those nice and flat inside. And for the flowers, I'm just popping them up with some foam on both of the um, bottom and the top panel so that they can pop up off that card a little bit more. And I'm adding some glue on that edge that's going to touch my frame. So I want my flowers to kind of overlap the frame a little bit so it looks like they're kind of popping out of that frame a bit. Now, as I mentioned in my last video, I'm trying to come up with some ideas. I'm trying to come up with some ways that we can use up our scraps, make our supplies stretch a bit longer. I know the whole world is going through some tough times. We're all facing loads of higher bills. Um, energy costs are unreal. Gas is unreal. Uh, we're all in the same boat and we're all probably struggling a bit. So if we can come up with more ideas of how we can make the best use of the resources we have currently, that's probably going to be best for all of us. So I'm going to be trying to share some more ideas with you on how we can make the most of what we've got in our stash and that we can keep going with our creativity and our crafting because be, to be honest, this is the best thing for our mental health and in a time when it's really stressful and really difficult in life, this is a great way to kind of get that relief and you know have that downtime and relaxed time where we don't really have to stress too much. So next week will also be another video where I'm going to share with you what you can use your scraps for and how you can make the most of those and create some fun creative cards as well. So finishing off this card, I am just popping up those little leaves as well with some foam tape and then I will go ahead and add my sentiment on the front. So there's the first one, the basics done. Now if you want to step it up and you're not such a fan of the wonky, if you've got your dies with you, you can go ahead and cut yourself a frame. Doesn't matter what shape the frame is, you can always cut your card to be the same shape. You just fold your card in half and run your die through, leaving a little overlap, um, a little overhang with your die on one edge so that you create a fold. And then you can go ahead and cut yourself a little frame. So if you've got circles or hearts, you can do the same thing as what I've done here. I'm just using rectangles because it's simple and easy. You could also go ahead and cut yourself a nice little rectangle. Um, if you've got a ruler, you can trace it out and cut yourself a little hole in the middle. I'm using punches here because those are nice and easy and quick and they're fantastic for scraps. And I'm just going to do the exact same thing I did before. I'm going to punch out my shapes instead of cutting them so they're not so wonky and I'll do the same thing again and I will do some white gel pen. Now here's a trick for the leaves. You can punch out your circle. If you slide that in and I'm going to use my blue tack uh, picky up tool, my homemade pickup tool which is just blue tack on a chopstick and it works great for gems. I'm just going to line up my circle in there, punch it out and now you've got a beautiful little leaf and you didn't have to worry about cutting a leaf yourself and having that kind of imperfection if you don't want the imperfection. You can get two leaves out of each circle, you just flip it around and punch it out. A really nice quick and easy trick for using those punches and getting the most out of those as well. Now for my stems I do have to hand cut those because I don't have a die that cuts a little stem but I was happy enough with my little slightly curved stems that I previously cut with scissors that this works well as well. So we've got the exact same thing as before but we've got it slightly more perfect. <laughs> for these ones I'm going to do dashes um, and wiggly lines and just kind of try to keep to the edge and try to keep it a bit more 
neat but again I'm not so good with the neat so it is a little bit wonky but I think it looks okay in the end and I'm just adding some doodles to the edges of those flowers so that they kind of have a bit more detail and dimension so you can see the center ones I've traced uh, solid put a little dot in the middle I did dashes down the stems and leaves I did a double line so quick and easy and then again I'm just going to assemble it how I want it to go uh, stick it all in and then put the foam tape on the back and then that kind of finishes that card now for my sentiments on one of the cards, I'm going to use my little sentiment strips that I've got from Creative Expressions. These have been really handy. They're great for lazy, quick crafting. I am starting to think about typing out some sentiments myself on my computer and just printing them out so I can just cut them like this and save a bit of cash. Now if I do that, I will do my best to have a link for you guys where you can download the sentiments yourself. Um, so if I can get some time once the kids are back in school, I'll try and do up some sentiment strips so that we can all have a little bit of cheaper crafting printed at home uh, and have something to go on our cards. I think that would be quite good <laughs> at this point in time in life. So I've got wishing you happy birthday and then another birthday sentiment on the other one. And those are my two cards. So we have wonky on the left, which anyone can do. And we've got more perfection on the right. I hope you had fun with me tonight. And I look forward to seeing you next Sunday, Saturday, <laughs> next Saturday, um, where I will share some more scraps with you and a bit more about my trip home to Canada. So take care. Have a fantastic week. See you then. Bye.